Robbie, my man, you got to do some more contest. Well, I would love to, but it seems like half of you guys just don't claim your prizes anyway. So I have last week's 50 NZD credit again to give out to YGOsingles.com. All you got to do is like this video and comment on this video again. And, and the sorry guy last week, you didn't actually PM me and claim your prize. Literally checked my messages yesterday. Five days after the contest was over and you just didn't PM me. So, give it to somebody else that wins it. So, like I said, guys, like, comment to get entered into this video, and whew, hopefully one winner will enjoy that sweet, sweet, what is it, like half an ash blossom? Or maybe those buy some magical musketeer stuff. But, you know, it's the best part about these contests. So, let's dig into today's Mark Watch, shall we? All right, what is up, guys? Simco Forty here. We are back with Market Watch. Like I said, get entered in by leaving a comment down below and make sure you win the credit. Uh, your Robbie lure for this video has been brought to you by the closet. Uh, they're all insanely trapped in there and they are not getting out anytime soon. So enjoy. Does Robbie have schizophrenia? Was the question of the day or whatever personality disorder? Uh, tends to go into these things. I don't remember the question off the top of my head. No, shirt colors do not reflect the many angry Robbies in the world. Just that I'm always angry. And you know what they say. You won't like me when I'm angry. God, well, only I was wearing a green shirt for that reference. So anyway, let's dig into this, shall we? Yu-Gi-Oh! Singles pre-sales go on sale January 27th. Be prepared. Check this out if you are looking to pick up some of the stuff you want from here. Very, very, very good prices. They've never let the community down before in terms of value. And honestly, just making you aware of this. You know, they, they sponsored the contest today. And, you know, I, I love shouting them out because, well, the shit's actually just really cheap. Anyway, what's going on in the market? For some reason, I don't know, what the fuck's going on here? Kaisers have been, I, I've been seeing a little bit more people talk about this. I don't know why. I'll be completely honest with you. I think this is some asinine ass backwards attempt to hype something. But for some reason, I this number was at 250 and it's been dwindling a little bit. Like that, that's not a lot to kind of notice here, but I've seen a couple posts in Zodiac and I personally sold a couple of these this week. So, I just something to take note. Does somebody know something about this? I I don't I don't think so, but kind of worth noting. Anyway, moving on along here. Toon Kingdom you guys remember when this card was $30? I remember. Somebody went through and fucking bought this shit out. Like, you want to you wanna talk about weird buyouts. I get the collector's market on this. I do. The card, it's a fan favorite for whew, literally all of man time. Or all of time. Because tunes, tunes, tunes. And the card doesn't have a fucking reprint. But this is getting fucking ridiculous, man. One reprint destroys this card's value. You guys remember the Eye of Tamias? You know, here, I'll give you an example. It just takes one reprint to literally fucking ruin one thing. The original Eye of Tamias, this thing's still holding value. And then they got a reprint, and then they got another fucking reprint. So, Konami definitely... I definitely don't know if it's 100% fair safe investment, but... Just there's only three listings for it. So if you have these and you haven't sold them, congratulations, you won the lottery on this buyout. Garden Demise also got fucking bought out. Uh, this gets reprinted in uh, what two months, I believe. Ten listings on the market, fresh twenty four dollars a piece. All right. Um, as we're getting further into banlist type season here, a lot of a lot of people really want this. They're expecting Paleo to do something, but. Electromite? Hello? Like, I, I understand you want this to be good, but Pendulums are just a better deck. If Pendulums don't get nerfed, then you have to deal with that. I mean, I guess you're playing the double what if if we actually get a balance. By the way, give it up for day 26. Day 26 of no sooner than January 2018. If a list comes out after this video is up, well, yeah, you got me, Konami. But anyway, this has been bought out. That is Vortex Dragons Ultimates also were bought out overnight. But why, though? I, I I get it. Odd Eyes, Fusion, and things like that. And this is technically the highest rarity. And it is a fan classic ultimate. So, bear that in mind. Meanwhile, Ice Rebellion Dragon Ultimates back here are just $2. 
Good buyout. Good buyout. Moving on long drawn lockbirds dropping a little bit steadily here. Supers 18s. Light plays 15s. Not too damn bad back here. Uh, last day of the witches for some reason. Somebody was talking about that these were going up. You're right. There's only 11 listings of these on the market. Literally like 9, 9, 5, 5. Just kind of drops back down here to 259. Um, not going to say that this would be an interesting buyout, but uh, why though? Then on the flip side of the equation, <laughs> Exile of the Wickeds from TP2 are uh, $37, $36? And the rest of them are $0.20 cents a piece. This is the one that kills fiends. This is the one that kills spellcasters. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> what's what's a warrior elimination going for over here? We're going to... Let's go look at the supers. Oh, wow. Warrior eliminations are 20s. This is what? TP7? Eh, just like monster destruction. Moving on along, Alti Gaio Pelios. You guys remember when these like six bucks last week we were talking about them? Well, congratulations, they're up even higher now. Coming in at a fresh twelve dollars. Rem Rem's coming in at five. Nope, I lied seven. One you know, you know this one's not gonna last here. And then everything else is just cheap as balls. Yeah. None of this other stuff's looking expensive. Ultimate Glow Bulbs on the up and up as well. Fifty fifty fifty. Uh Ultras, Sevens, Secrets, and then you can buy yourself a fresh bleh gold rare for nothing. Even looks like the Cyverse ones are going up as well at 50 cents a piece. Looks like a little bit of value is gaining back there. Fabled stuff also looks like it's disappearing off the market here. Um, Fabled Grimrow, literally just this and it's bought out. Regions, still like four bucks. Anything else crazy back here? Fable Cruise, still twos. Cerberuses. If you're if you're really worried about the fable buyout, like you may as well just clean it up. Honestly, there's no real reason. Cat Sith still like nothing. It's really just Grimro back here. I mean, like I wouldn't even feel bad about buying Grimro for like nine, eight, nine bucks. It was never a lot back in the day. Evil Swarm stuff. Wow. Elvo Excite Knights are finally eight dollars. The fuck? Hey, Value Town, you did it for some odd ass reason. Detail Fion still coming in at 14s. Ouroboros going up as well. Regular Ouroboros, still nothing. And then the rest of this just kind of trickles off. Nightmares, four bucks. And then everything else in the deck. Still kind of like a good solid. Ooh, wow. Heliotrope got bought out. Huh. Only one on the market. For like $3. What a shocker, actually. I'm actually very shocked. Hold on. I'm. I, I'm actually. Wow, I actually didn't think Heliotrope was going to get bought out. Hmm, interesting. Binging Night Parshas, we were talking about this, what, during the previous rendition. Um, just thank you. Thank you, Counter Fairy. You're, you're doing your best. Literally fucking $7 for a fucking common. This was a sneak peek card back in the day. <laughs> Look what value has gotten you. Uh, Ultra Nightmare Sharks, we also looked at this as a previous buyout. You're looking at like five bucks. Somebody called this expensive. I called this okay. I mean, it's a manga promo. Shouldn't be spending two dollars on a manga promo. Ash Blossoms, this week. This week in Ash Blossom. Seventy-five dollars. Still no reprint in sight. <laughs> Anything else spicy? Maximum Crisis. This card is still $28 and going... I can't even say it's going up anymore. It's literally just like... I don't want to be 25 but I don't want to be 30 It's just $28 forever. Tornado Dragons coming in at what? 14s? Unendings have dropped back down below the $12 that they were. That was that was a quick refresh. Jesus. This is going to be one of those cards that like, you know it's going to be good. But the price tag just isn't going to let it go up. I mean, it's probably going to get a reprint in the Megatons at some point. Watch Zark get dropped at Locals today. was not impressed, nor am I impressed with this price tag every week. I'm um, definitely expecting these to continue to rise up. You guys know how the hype train with the Duelist Alliances are. I would not be shocked if Duelist Alliance does not get bought out. I repeat, I will not be shocked if Ultra Duel or Secret Duelist Alliances get bought back out by Magician Hype. It's just, I definitely don't see it not happening. Wave of the Lights Structure Deck. Ties of the Brethren's for three bucks. Mm. So all mornings, seventy cents. Is the rest of this deck just shit in value? Actually, hold on. I do want to note that this is the first copy of Warning that I've seen underneath two dollars. Um, everything else in here just ever. <laughs> everything else in here is just really cheap. Is there anything in here like 
worth picking up in terms of value. Oh my god, Gellin Duo. Yo, sorry, we're going on a side trip here. What does Secret Gellin Duo look like now? Oh man, still only $8? Those Ultras are 5 Fresh DTs at like 2 bucks. Interesting. Evenly matched $55. They're up from the 53 that they were. Borolo Dragon coming in at 32 Hey, you do you, Borolo. You continue to raise in price. Vendred Chimera is back up over the $3 mark that they were. Back up to 5 Dot, 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 maybe? <laughs> Spiral stuff's still like $3. Baguski's still 3s. Sphere Modes going back up. These listings are slightly disappearing. I like that. Make sure you have your Ultra Guy stuff, and don't be caught with your pants down when this deck becomes good after Flood. Trust me. I, I got some videos to do on that. Magician Girls. Wow, underneath $10 this week. You can get that fresh eight ninety nine one. Four bucks. This is under fucking $3, finally. I have to my ass is $2. This is going to go back up. I don't think there's anything else in this set. Pay attention to Duelist Alliance, as I said. Um... Oh man, fucking $20 on these things now. This set's f literally like this is going up and these are just going down. Like, I, I don't understand. This card should be like 8 bucks. Actually, it is 8 bucks. This card should never have been below 10, honestly. Just because of what it is. Little baby tigers are 5 bucks. It's stupid. Little Amazons are 2s as well. I like how this set's gaining value. Pay attention to this. This is our Fright for Kraken of the set. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm going to detour into Fright for really quick. Jesus Christ. Fright for Daredevil is actually money at $5. Fright for a burn, burn is $5. Uh, hey, Kraken. How you doing, buddy? Kraken, are you finally going to be a $4 card? Hold on, I got to look at Invoked really quick. And yeah, Macabas 22s. These are nothing. Yeah! Woohoo! Kraken's going to be $4 soon! I've been calling this. I, I just want to take time to thank my fans. You guys are the ones that make me super happy. Every week I, I do market watch. I look at Kraken and I'm just like, you do you, baby. You're going to you're gonna do it. And he's doing it. My little Kraken. Meanwhile, uh, I don't know Meltdown's back on the up and up back here at like $3. What the fuck's going on there? Hey, Kraken. I believe in you, buddy. Do you, all right? Don't, don't let any of the haters tell you. That you can't be a money card. Alright, we gotta go look at ultimates from OTS 6 really quick. Alright, decode. This week decode's at 50. That's okay. Regular decodes are fives. It's really good. Invocations, 45. Brilliant Fusion's going down. Seraph Knight's back at eights. Uh, the rest of this hollows are like five bucks. Well, only two of these on the market. I guess it's a red ice card. Moving on along, Megatons. Whew. Desire's about to be uh about to be a lot of money? Like for real? Desire's gonna hit four dollars soon? Like, is this is this gonna be a thing? I guess it was a matter of time, honestly. Like I'm I can't necessarily say I'm shocked. Uh no, it's it's got a ways to go before it gets to four. There's a lot of threes in here, but yeah, it's definitely not two bucks anymore. Um Raid Raptor Tribute Lonnie is also a $7 card for some fucking reason. I don't know why this is gaining value all of a sudden. Um, especially from, like, Wing Raiders. I knew this was, like... There's something else in Wing Raiders. I mean, like, Fog Blades are 11s. Cloaks should be, like, 10s, honestly. The rest of the set is just kind of ass poo-poo. And people have tried to buy this card out, like, 30 times. But it's just not going. Also, Cyframe Blockers were evidently attempted to be bought out on the Secrets. 11 is the lowest available, but why though? I, I get you can pendulum summon it, call stuff, block it, but uh, I don't know. I've never been a fan of this card. I get why people like it, but Starfoil's 2's commons are 48 cents. Nothing else too special going on back there. And last but not least for Market Watch, I wanted to kind of just showcase Weiss, because we love Sword Art Online. As an anime, Sword Art Online is it's such a wonderful... It's a wonderful piece. But, you know, I liked it better when it was called Dot .hack back in the day. But that that's just me. New kids will be like, put Sword Art copy Dot .hack. Yeah. <laughs> and you're an award-winning scientist, because you know anime. <laughs> it's just my two cents. Anyway, 
Fucking League Strike Silica looks so nice. I actually want one of these. These things are 60s. I also need a fucking Vigor. Um, fucking on stage as soon as. Fucking 15s, like, ugh. I should have bought the hollows when I had the chance. I know the standby trigger icons are getting cheap back here. Yeah, heinous traps. I need to pick up four of those as well. Those actually aren't bad. Super Akiritos are like nine bucks. Mother's Rosarios, eights. I just want some pictures, man. Like, Link Strike's in on. This card's really bad, but it's it's kind of fun to play with mechanically. Link Strike Silk is also good. Fucking Link Strike Kirito is a good card, too. Like, fucking the CC combo for this is ridiculous. Being able to just self replace itself is actually really good. I don't think there's anything else too interesting in here. Oh, op, op, Opposition by the Shield. This thing's really good. A 2 3. Character can't build data damage to a player. Yeah, this is, this is, this is some really good shit. <laughs> the OCG Nationals deck was fucking hilarious playing that trash. Um, that's all I got from Mark Watch today, guys. As per usual, if I if I missed anything, you know, you guys want some good good tokens, come come look at Weiss. Some really interesting stuff. So, like I said, if I miss anything, if by chance I did, please leave it down below in the comment section when you comment to get it into today's contest for that 50 credit. And that's all I got, guys. I'll see you guys on the flip side this weekend. Later. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.